Did you know that you can send auto-responding emails right through Elementor's forms? I'm talking about the default built-in Elementor form widget. And what I mean by an auto-responding email is, for an example, somebody fills out a contact form. Well, there's an automatic response email that goes out to that user saying, hey, thank you for filling out our form. Somebody will get back to you shortly. Or another really good use case would be, say, a campaign where you ask somebody to sign up for a free download. Well, you can set it up so that way somebody signs up in the subscription, they get an automatic email sent to them with the download link inside that email. Not only does this help with automation, but it also helps you to verify the user's email, especially in campaigns like this. And there's a whole other lot of good cases we can use auto-responding emails. In fact, I love hearing your creativity and it also gives us all a bunch of ideas. So make sure to drop in the comments ideas and ways you see that auto-responding emails could help out. So let me show you how this is done. It's actually kind of easy once you see the process. I'm going to walk you through it. So let's jump into Elementor. We're going to set up auto-responding on this form right here. So I'm going to go to the form settings. And then from here, we're going to navigate down to actions after submit. Now, by default, we have the collect submissions and email. This first email right here, well, this is the setup for sending whatever gets filled out inside the form to the owner of the website. This is the message that we get. But we want to set up an email that gets sent to the person who fills out the form. To do that, go over here to actions after submit and select on email two. And we are going to set this up. The first thing we want to do is change who the email is sent to. We want it being sent to the user filling out the form. So go back over here to your form fields, go over to email and then go to advance. And you're going to see this short code right here, the field ID equals email. So we want to copy and paste this. You could also change it and put something like your email. You can make this unique to your own or you could just keep it simple, leave it at email, which is what we're going to do here. So we're gonna copy that, and then we're gonna go back down here to email two, and we're gonna paste it here. Now, what this is going to do right here is whatever gets filled out inside this form is being sent to whatever email is put right here inside the form. So if you are doing something like hey, sign up for a free download. Well, people can't trick the system by doing that. Over here for your subject, we're going to treat this as somebody reaching out to us. So we're gonna say, uh, I'm just gonna call this auto respond email, just so with, that way we could identify it when I show you how it turns out inside our emails. Now here inside the messages, this is where we're gonna add our message. Now when we put all fields, that is showing the information from all of our fields right here. Just like this, this is a field. So we're going to remove that because we do not want our user to see that. And we're gonna say, hey, and we could actually put in and say, hey, to their first name, whatever they put here. So I'm gonna go back up here to my form fields and I'm gonna to go to first name, then over to advanced, because I wanna personalize it. Now here it says fill ID name. I'm going to actually change this up right here. Put first underscore and name. That way it's going to be different from the last name. I am now going to copy this, go back over here to email two, and I'm going to say, hey, and it's going to echo whatever they put in here. So they put in their name is, is Jackie. It's going to say, hey, Jackie. I'm even going to get a little bit creative and I'm going to put a little waving emoji. All right, now inside here, this is where you put your message. And I got one I already wrote out. So that way we could do things kind of quick. All right, thank you for reaching out. We'll get back to you really quickly, something like that. Now, one thing that is important to note, just because you create spacing doesn't mean you're gonna get spacing. We actually gotta put some HTML tags here. I'm gonna put a break tag, and the break tag looks just like this. When you put a tag like this, it's gonna break a line. I'm gonna put two to even give it a little bit more space. As you're doing this, test it see how it looks on your side. 
Now I'm gonna finish up my message. I'm gonna put a signature on it. So I already have it copy and pasted. And again, I wanna put some spacing here. In fact, let me add a little bit of spacing so it's easier to see. I'm gonna put more of these break tags. We could actually put more in here, but it does take a little bit of HTML knowledge, but we could do things like even putting our logo here. So I have my logo that is just a link taken out. Let me see from right back over here. I have my PNG logo. You know, I copy this, put it inside the A tag, and then added it right over here. So here is my message. Feel free to put whatever you like inside yours. Now from here, from the front, it's really important you want it from your email. So I got my main Jeffrey at Lightbox Academy email right here. From the name, I'm gonna put Lightbox Academy and then reply to. You also want them to be able to reply to your main email so that way you could have back and forth email conversations with them if they have more questions. So let's go ahead and update this. Let's give it a try and see what happens. So I'm gonna put my full name here. Okay, I'm gonna put my other business email here. And then we're gonna say, this is a test. All right, let's see what happens now. Email went through, let me check my emails. And here we go, I got the email, auto respond email right here. Let's take a look at it. And here's our auto responded email. So look at even got the logo here and I got a link that goes straight to the website. I put in the logo again, a little bit of HTML knowledge really could help out if you want to get more creative, but really just a very simple, Hey, I got your message. Thank you for reaching out. We're going to get right back to you. You know, this is going to stand out a lot more. It's going to make things a bit more automated. This is also very helpful for a sign up campaign for like a free download. If you want to do something like that, you set it up just like this and I'm going to change my message right here. All right, I have a different message right here. And what I put in here is, you know, thank you for signing up as promised. Here's your download link to the PDF guide. And all I did was put a link to the actual PDF that I uploaded into my media library. So back over here, I uploaded this PDF and I took this right here and I put it inside of an A tag. Again, you got to do a little bit of HTML, but if you got questions, drop them inside the comments and let's sign up for a free PDF. All right, hook me up. And here we go. I got the new email right here and I got the download link to download the PDF. Go ahead and click it, download it, and here is the PDF that I uploaded to the site. No additional plugins, nothing needed at all. This is all baked right into Elementor. It's not complicated to set up. We don't need any additional plugins or anything like that. It's already baked into Elementor, but you might want to get an SMTP. An SMTP is going to allow your website to send out emails reliably. Now I did create a video about setting up SMTPs with Cloudways. I put a link up over here and one inside the descriptions. And if you want to see another video about SMTPs to get a better understanding of it, because it is a bit more complicated, but it is also super important to make sure emails are being sent out, especially if you have like a WooCommerce website. Well, let me know and I can show a bit more about it. Also, if you got questions, drop them inside the comments. Again, if you got ideas and ways of using auto responding emails, drop them inside the comments. I like to get everybody's ideas, put them together. We all can learn collectively from them and also sparks up the creative juices. And also, if you do got questions, you know, you're stuck on SMTPs or something like that, drop them inside the comments as well so myself or other people could help you out. Well, I hope this video helped out. And if it did, you know, don't forget that YouTube stuff. Like and subscribe. You know the deal. Okay, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back again soon.